On Monday, the director of the Alcoholic Beverage Control revoked River Valley Release license. That decision is being appealed and they're allowed to keep operating until a hearing is held about three weeks from now. And the owners say regardless of what happens, they're prepared for a long legal fight in court. River Valley Relief is one of eight cultivation facilities in the state and the only one in the River Valley. We've got a great, super mo motivated team who's devoted to our mission, and, that, and the mission is serving Arkansas patients. Storm Nolan and his brother invested more than $8 million into the operation that employs 75 people with a payroll of about $2 million a year. Right now, they're producing nearly 1,000 pounds of medical cannabis a month, as well as other exclusive products that are sold in Arkansas dispensaries. This is a Product that we developed called Arkin Raw. The biggest uh, demographic of patients that find the most benefit are our cancer or our, uh, terminally ill patients. They're finding the, the major uh, pain relieving benefits from the product. It's been quite an investment for, for me and my brother. And, uh, you know, we, this whole time we've been relying on that license to, to do what we did here. But in January last year, Southern Roots Cultivation, who's next in line to receive a cultivation license, sued the state, asking, Pulaski County Circuit Court Judge Herbert Wright to force the state to revoke River Valley Relief's license, alleging that it should never have been issued. The lawsuit claimed River Valley Relief's original location listed on their application was within 3,000 feet of the Sebastian County Juvenile Detention Center, which was legally considered a school since juveniles received class instruction while being detained. The lawsuit also alleged Nolan dissolved his corporation and sold the building that was listed on the application. The judge agreed ruling that the state violated its own rules and that a license should never have been awarded to Noland. He was not allowed to intervene in the case. And based on that ruling, the director of the Alcoholic Beverage Control revoked the license. At least two of the charges weren't true and one of the charges has already been settled. It's really to remain in compliance with the court order. To say there are a lot of moving parts here would be a bit of an understatement. Department of Finance and Administration spokesman Scott Hardin says River Valley Relief can't continue operating until the ABC board, here's the pill. As of today, people are spending about 800000 a day on average purchasing medical marijuana in the state. So again, uh, there's a reason these licenses are so competitive. Uh, we believe the facts speak for themselves. And, you know, if, if they hear us out and let us let us make our case and give us a fair shot, you know, we, we, we're on the right side here of the law. The Alcoholic Beverage Control Board hearing is scheduled for December 21st. Hardin says if members do vote to officially revoke River Valley Relief's license, then they could sue in circuit court asking that it be reinstated. As of right now, there's no word on when the state appeals court will take up that judge's ruling that prompted everything. In Fort Smith, Brett Raines, 4029 News.